Hey everybody, I'm Jody Gillis. I'm a realtor and I'm the owner of Rivermore Partners Realty. And today it's a little bit different of a real talk. I am here with my go-to home inspector and Joe Moore with Inspect More. Hi, Joe. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? Another day in paradise, thank you very much. Exactly. All right, so sometimes buyers and or sellers are interested in having a radon test. Talk to me a little bit about radon and do they really need to test? Radon, short version, is a colorless, odorless, naturally occurring gas. Okay. Our concern with it is, especially now as we're building houses tighter and tighter, we're in the house with what's in the house. The only way to know it's present is to conduct some sort of test. Typically in a real estate transaction, you're limited in time, right? Yes. So we use a type of device that allows us to provide results within a 48 hour period. Okay. And it'll actually produce sort of an EKG that'll show the levels and they'll fluctuate during that time frame. Okay. The, the point is to get an average that the EPA has it measures has this measured in something called a PCURI. And they wanna see a level of 4.0 or less. That's kind of the target point. 2.0 is the acceptable level. Okay. 4.0 is maybe we better do something. And the only way to know what there is there is to have someone conduct a test. Gotcha. And these when these tests are conducted, doesn't the house have to be closed up for like 24 to 48 hours? Good point. So in a perfect world, which in a real estate transaction, sometimes it's hard to <laughs> generate, but in a perfect world for a period of time, say 12 hours before the inspection, we want to minimize the opening and closing of doors, especially if it's a basement entry, a terrace level. Uh, air conditioning should be set at a uh, typical level auto at 68 degrees and kept there. Okay. But we don't we, we don't want to walk Fido in and out the back door and leave the door open for a period of time because again radon is a noble gas which means it settles at the lowest level. Okay. So whatever we can do to not stir it up that means ceiling fans, dehumidifiers, we turn those off. Gotcha. And is there radon a certain amount of radon in every home? I yes. mean we're in Georgia. Yes. But yes. Okay. So um, I had one of my clients in the past year was an oncologist who moved here from Knoxville. Okay. And he shared some information with me during the process of his purchase uh, in terms of levels in the United States. Statistically, according to him, 5% of the residences in the United States on average are gonna contain unacceptable levels of radon gas. Different parts of the country are at higher levels. Our part of the country, in Georgia in general, 33% of the houses are going to be high. Gotcha. Now, it can be mitigated, though. Right. And that's my next question is, you know, so there's a home, whether it's new or it's a resale, how, how does a radon mitigation system work and how is it installed? Is it expensive? That's kind of a tricky question. More builders are building in static or passive systems in new construction, which essentially means all they have to do is install the pump or the motor if it draws the radon gas out of the house. Okay. In that case, less than $300. If you have to put in a complete system, whether it's a crawl space, a slab, or a basement, it can vary depending on the size of the structure and how complicated the system is. The radon mitigation specialist I know, I've heard him quote people as low as 1200 up to 2800 but essentially if you see a home and there's a white PVC pipe along the side of the house that rises up beyond the roof line on the, on the side, that's typically a radon mitigation system and in its function. It's just drawing the radon gas out uh, all day long, 365 days a year. Interesting. So radon is probably gonna be in the homes in Georgia, but there's different levels and more than likely, it's under the safe level. That's true, yes. If not, there's a remedy. Mm -hmm. Awesome, thank you, Joe. You're welcome.